intimidating face especially when he gets up real close to the camera real close to your face but he's actually super super sweet we realized that he was a very personable bird and he liked to go places with us and so i bought him a car seat and a stroller all right are you ready we go to the park we go downtown i take him to restaurants with us we eat outside they bring him a salad which he loves He's definitely an adventure chicken. When I tell people that I have a chicken living in my house, most people find it hilarious, actually. They think it's extremely funny. Some people are offended, almost. I think they feel like it just goes against nature, and it's weird. A friend posted a screenshot of a Craigslist ad, and it was pretty intense. There was a man who had gotten boo as a chick from a feed store. So I got in my car and I drove the six hours to get him. And then we drove back again six hours that same day. I decided to go ahead and take him outside and let him meet the ladies. We had five pins at the time, and Boo <laughs> somehow missed socialization when he was little. He just didn't know what to do with them. The girls were just like all over him. They were like, oh, you're gorgeous, we love you. And he was freaking out. He was standing so still looking at me like, what is happening? I thought he would settle in, but he just wanted to be wherever I was. And so I started taking him inside more, and his visits became more and more frequent. And so finally I was like, you're a house chicken, aren't you, Boo? And Boo was like, yeah. After I brought Boo inside permanently, his personality just started to blossom, and we started to see a lot of interesting personality traits. I am a music director, and so I play piano a lot, and he would always come up and listen to me practice. And before long, I would come in there and he was playing his own little songs on the piano, which I thought was just remarkable, really. They were they were not bad. Honestly, I was like, that's actually pretty good. We've got four cats. When he first met the cats, he let them know that he was the top cat. And they have never questioned his leadership. They know not to push his buttons. They don't get too close. I had some friends who were saying things like, oh my gosh, don't you cats try to attack your chicken? And I was like, they wouldn't dare. A lot of times in the evenings when I sit down, he'll sit next to me, he'll put his little head on my shoulder and just start nuzzling and then he'll fall asleep. Honestly, I was surprised when we moved Boo into the house how easy it was. I thought it would be incredibly difficult, which is why I didn't do it sooner. It was just almost like he belonged here all along. He's really just kind of completed the family.